To help stretch out your hip flexors, particularly your, your, your rectus quad, uh, right rectus femoris quad right here in the, the front, uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to grab your back leg. Now for some people, if it's really, really intense, uh, if it's re a really tight stretch, just squeezing your butt from this position, holding onto that back leg. Now I'm holding with my right arm onto my right leg, and I'm working my hardest to keep my belly button facing straight towards that wall. But just squeezing your butt is really gonna stretch out that, that front thigh. Uh, but uh, to progress it, and of course you wanna go for spurts for your mobility and hold it for your static stretches where we relax afterwards. Uh, but you're going to lean into it, keep your butt locked tight, and you're going to exhale forcefully, keeping the neutral spine. <sighs> Inhale as we come back. I'm going to go back in, hold it for about two or three seconds. <sighs> and again, we're mainly focusing on anti-rotation because it's going to be a tendency. I'm going to want to rotate towards that leg that, uh, that I'm stretching. Don't let that happen. Keep that neutral spine, hold it tight. We want to ideally keep everything kind of on railroad tracks where the feet are in line with those hips. So from a front view, it's going to be more like this, not so much in line with each other. So railroad tracks, holding on to that back leg, lean it in, exhale. Again, for mobility, if that's a deep stretch, just holding the leg back here, you're just going to squeeze your butt, hold it for two to three seconds, and back in, inhale. If you need to go into the mobility, lean it forward just a little bit more.